my dear Goenkans, I welcome all of you to my EVS class. This video lesson is in the continuation with chapter 3, The World of Animals, which is on page number 20 to 27 on your EVS textbook. In this video lesson, we are going to learn about aerial animals, aquatic animals and amphibious animals. So dear Goenkans, we will first learn about the aerial animals. Animals which can fly, soar, glide and spend a lot of time in the air are called aerial animals. Most birds and bats are aerial animals. Aerial animals have two pair of limbs, two forelimbs and two hind limbs. Four limbs are modified into wings that help them in flying, whereas hind limbs help them in walking on ground. Their body is covered with feathers and has hollow and light bones. These features make their bodies suitable for flying. Some examples of the aerial animals are vulture, nighthawk, sparrows, etc. Now kids, we will learn about the aquatic animals. Animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. From giant creatures like whales, sharks, dolphins to small fish such as sea snails, crabs, lobsters, etc. are good examples of animals living in the water. The real challenge for these animals to survive under water is breathing. And to do so, many marine animals like fish have special respiratory organs called gills that extract dissolved oxygen from water and excrete carbon dioxide. However, dolphins and whales do not have gills, they have lungs to breathe. They have to come to the water surface to inhale. They exhale under water through nostrils and the water squirts out like a fountain. So, Gwenkans, it was about the aquatic animals. Now we will learn about the amphibious animals. Animals that live both on land and in water are called amphibious animals. For example, frogs, toads, salamanders, etc. Frogs breathe through the lungs on land and through moist skin in water. They have webbed toes which help them to move on land and to swim in water. Now, my dear Guencans, I would like to share infobits with you. Do you know that the Chinese giant salamander is the largest amphibian in the world? Salamanders can regrow their lost limbs and other body parts. So, my dear Guencans, in this video lesson, we learned about the amphibious animals, about aquatic animals, and we also learned about the aerial animals. I hope you people have understood it well. Thank you so much.